Hello again, fellow maulers. This is Ron's Trains and More. I got a couple Taco Freight cars in an antique store today. I thought I'd kind of show them off here a little bit to y'all. I thought they were kind of neat. I actually got one that I really needed. This Pine Hill Logging Company gondola. That one there actually goes with that dozer accessory there. That works off air. As far as I know, that's the only one Taco ever made, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You just press the big, big red button and it just works off air and pushes the logs off it. Anyway, when you bought that accessory new, you got this gondola with it. So that's cool. I didn't have that, so it is now complete. So that's cool. That's a complete accessory. And then I got this one right here, which I didn't know Taco made, just normal container flat cars. I don't know if that's rare or not, or you guys know anything about it. Taco did make it though. I looked it up on the HO Seeker uh, resource website. They actually made a couple of these container cars. I think they did a Sea Land too. But yeah, it's got, must have been during the Mantua era. It's got Taco Mantua written on the bottom of it. But yeah, these things are in nice shape. $10 a piece, I suppose that ain't too bad. But yeah, this one's got Man to a Taco written on it there somewhere. But yeah, I thought that was a cool car. So that'll look good with my Taco piggyback train. But yeah, that's awesome. I needed this one. So that accessory is now complete. They just need wiped off a little bit. They're a little bit dirty. But, um, I just wipe them off with one of these, uh, makeup brushes. And if you guys don't have one, you can just take your girlfriends. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> don't want to get yourselves in trouble. But, yeah, I got this one at Walmart. It's like horse hair. It works perfect for, uh, cleaning any vintage model trains or model cars, for that fact. Hey, right, Earnhardt model. Works great for it. But yeah, this this is what I've always used, and it works perfect. I clean all my taco trains. It's soft, you know. It doesn't scratch them. It cleans them pretty good. But uh, shoot, I even wipe my transformers off with it. You know, just keep everything nice and dust-free, so it'll run for a while. But no. Anyways, yeah, I'll clean that one up here in a little while, but yeah, these things work great on vintage trains. You guys gotta get you one and try it out. Anyways, I might take this thing over here and try it with that accessory, and we'll see how it does. Let me walk around here. I'm gonna, I've actually got a layout set up in the living room here at my uncle's house until I get my house. So I have to kind of walk around the uh, TVs here. When I get my house, I'm going to have a big taco layout. It's going to be awesome. But uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, this thing works off this taco air pump here, which I thought was kind of cool. I think they made a couple other accessories that worked off the air like that. As far as I know, this is only one of these they made, I think. If we can uh, get it to uh, load this car here, let me move this log car here out of the way. I'll put this one on here. It's pretty cool. I'm glad to have this car now. That way, that accessory is complete. I'm trying to complete all my taco accessories and stuff. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that actually was broke when I got it, but I fixed it. And fixed it, and the dozer actually stays on it now. I had to run this little trench here under the foam for the air hose. Tried to do it without getting too many kinks in it, but it works all right. You just gotta press it kind of hard. But let's see here. Let's give it a couple pumps here. Let me see. back on it. 
We almost got one in there. <laughs> I love this old vintage stuff. It's pretty fun. Cool. There we go. Yeah, looks like we're only gonna get one. Let me push it down there and try to get one. Almost. Let's see, it's kind of crooked. Alright, now let's see. Whoops. Noser came off. There we go. Well, that's kind of neat. Boy, there ain't nothing like Tyco accessories and stuff is so cool. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys that couple freight cars I got there. Got these log cars sitting here with it. Kind of appropriate. A little lumber, lumber mill. But this is my layout. It's four by eight foot. I'm trying to make it a complete. It's going to be all taco. But anyways, just thought I'd give you guys a look at that there and accessory working anyways might run a train around here a lap or two here takes a minute to get these drives moving here there we go and I forgot I had the container car sitting there. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Fail. Alright. Anyways, let's try this again. Come on, girl. Alright, there we go. Takes a minute sometimes to get these old tacos moving. You get them going, though, they'll run. Pretty long taco train. It's amazing how well those power torque motors will pull. Well, actually, that one in the front is an MU2 drive, and the B unit is a dummy, and the other A unit has a power torque motor. They run good together, though. I wasn't too sure about that MU2 drive and that power torque, but now they run good. Anyways, I just thought I'd give you guys a look at these uh, new Taco Freight cars I picked up here today. Run the train around a few laps here, but anyways, I appreciate all you guys watching and uh, commenting. I really appreciate it. You guys remember, like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to get all the subscribers I can get and everything right now. My channel is actually doing pretty well. Thanks to y'all, I really appreciate it. But anyways, you guys stay tuned. I got some more pretty cool videos on the way. But this is Ron Strange and More. Out.